Well hello there and welcome back to my channel, of course welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are new then hello my name is Alex, lovely to meet you. If you are new then make sure you hit that subscribe button to join my little family here on the internet and also put the notification bell on so you're notified of every single time that I upload. Firstly, welcome back to Palette Week. This is video number four. Again, we are testing another eyeshadow palette. So I had so many palettes in my new in-draw that I decided to just dedicate a whole week to trying them. I have already tested out the Tammy Revolution palette, the Beauty Bay Pastels, and yesterday's video was the new Revolution Neon Collection. I will leave all those videos linked down below in the description if you'd like to go and watch them. Today's video, however, is a brand that I have never actually tried before. I've never used their like makeup or tools or anything like that. And it is by Sample Beauty. This is their the Prodigy palette. It's their dual toned edition. So I don't know if there'll be more um, palettes to this kind of collection. Sample Beauty is more of an indie brand. They are really popular on Instagram, but I personally just have not tested their products yet. So that's why I'm very excited for today's video. Um, so yeah, let's just get this open. So it comes in like a cardboard sleeve and it has the exact same packaging than it does on the sleeve. And this is what the palette looks like. So it's a very unique colour story. You have pretty much a like neutrals but yet pops of colour palette. And you also have these really beautiful like textured pans. I'm so excited to swatch. This is also um, cruelty free and vegan. So if you'd like to support brands that are only cruelty free and vegan, then Sample Beauty is one of them. It has a really nice mirror in here, so this would be a great travel friendly palette. It's actually a really, it's quite like it's quite big, but it's actually really thin and compact, so it wouldn't take up a lot of room in your like makeup bag. This palette is £20, so it's not really that expensive. I'm really excited to test the quality of this eyeshadow palette. So I think we should dive into the swatches. So these are the first and second rows. Just look how beautiful this foily formula is. It is absolutely stunning. And I was actually really impressed with the swatches as well. Some of them were a bit dry like this dark green here. But apart from that, oh my god, they are beautiful. And this is the last row again, that foily sort of formula is stunning. And they are really pigmented, these shimmers are really creamy as well okay and those are all of the swatches there seems to be like three formulas like mattes normal shimmers and like the more foily texture and everything was pretty much really pigmented so i'm very impressed so far we can now dive in to the eye look okay i'm feeling a kind of like purpley look today so i think i'm gonna mainly stick to like these top colors up here and then i definitely want to play with like one of these like foily ones so let's get started i don't know how to pronounce these names but i'm gonna take this purple here uh it's called almandine almandine no idea and i'm gonna start by picking up on my brush this is a morphe m506 and i'm gonna start by putting this in my outer corner I'm now going to take this purple here, which is called Amethyst, and I'm going to take that on a Morphe M456. This has not got yellow eyeshadow on it, it's just stained. <laughs> and I'm going to blend that just at the top of where that meets. Those colours are quite similar, to be honest. Um, there isn't much difference between them. And I'm now going to take a Morphe M433 brush and I'm going to take the shade Smoky Quartz. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend that at the front of my lid and connect it with the purple. Also just using that shade to blend out the top end, end, top edge of the purple shade. I'm going to take a bit of stone, which is the thir first shade in the palette, and I'm gonna just slightly like wing 
this out. And then I'm going to take more of amethyst and just blend that into the wing and just start to bring it on my lower lash line as well. I'm now going to take my ABH um, eye primer and I'm going to now cut my crease. I have been using like both this and my P. Louise and I just find that this one has like slightly more coverage to it. Um, so I find that this one is especially good for like cutting the crease. Okay, I've got my cut crease on as usual. This one has gone a lot better than this one. But we can ignore that. I now want to play with one of these beautiful shimmers. And I think I'm going to take Moonstone up here. Because I think the undertone is more purpley pink. And it will go with this eye look. I'm not sure if I need to wet these or anything. So I'm just going to go in with it dry. And see what happens. Okay, and that is all of that foil on, and how gorgeous is that? That is a beautiful, beautiful colour. I now need to go back in with that first shade we used, that Almadine. And just blend out where this kind of ends. I'm just going to go in with this shade here, which is called Spinel, Spinel, Spinel. And I'm just going to deepen up my outer corner ever so slightly. I'm actually going to take this blue here, which is called Tazanite. Tazanite. I don't know. I'm going to blend this at the front of my like lower lash line. And just taking more of Amethyst and just blending that at the second half. Okay, now for the inner corner and brow bone, there actually isn't a light enough shimmer in this palette for that they're all like matte the only the lightest one in this palette is the one i use like all over my lid so i'm gonna have to go in with moonstone again you know how i feel about my light enough shades for the unicorn and brow bone and it is more of a chunkier shade so i'm gonna try and make this work. Okay guys, this is the eye look complete. I'm gonna hop off camera, do my lashes and mascara and then I'll be right back with my final thoughts. Right guys, I'm back. I just put on the uh, Unicorn Cosmetics Lemon Meringue lashes. These are my holy grail lashes, absolutely love them my mascara is the essence lash princess mascara and my lips is another maybelline super stay matte ink but this is in the shade 120 artist i thought let's go a bit monochrome today the lips do kind of suit well with the eyes what do you think of today's look what do you think of the palette i would love to know your opinions down below in the comments so the Prodigy palette is definitely a first for this brand for me. I've never tried any of their eyeshadow palettes before. And I am really impressed. Like, as you can see, the shades were super pigmented. Um, that foil shade on my lid is absolutely stunning. I love shades like that that I can just whack on my lid and it just... It's just so foily and gorgeous. I'm a big fan of the foils. I haven't tried the normal shimmer formula yet. 
but from the shades that i tried today they were so pigmented really easy to blend in with each other like that smoky quartz and the amethysts are like really different in color like the smoky quartz is much much lighter but when you blend them together they just work so well i really like that the shade amethyst and almadine almadine i don't know the first purple that i used are um they're different in the pans but they do look very similar on the eyes um i would have loved to see like a really light normal shimmer shimmer i would love to have seen a normal like light shimmer in here just so i could have added that to my inner corner and brow bone but the moonstone shade worked really well it is just more of a chunky shade I don't think I mentioned it, but I did get fallout from that Moonstone shade. I do have little like specks of glitter under my eyes, which is not a problem. Just if you're going to buy this palette, just make sure you do your eyes first before you do your face makeup. And I generally can't wait to use this again. I did also use this like purpley toned dark blue and that was really pigmented as well use that on the front of my lower lash line. I can't wait to use this gold shade. It looks absolutely incredible like look at that pigmentation so impressed with these swatches they're so good so if you can um support your indie brands then i definitely recommend checking out this palette it is absolutely beautiful um i had no problems with any of the shades that i tried today overall i'm really pleased with this palette i'm very very impressed with the quality and pigmentation i'm really glad i picked this up now just because i saw so much hype from so many like mutuals of mine on instagram about this palette launch and i thought well if everybody else is like really excited about it then i think i need to buy it because um, obviously they must have tried sample beauty before and i am really impressed with the pigmentation i'm very excited to see what else sample beauty bring out because i feel like that is a brand that i am going to continue to purchase from now so guys, those are all my thoughts and opinions on the Sample Beauty, the Prodigy palette. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button. Let me know down below what you think of the look that I created today and what you think of this palette. Have you tried it yourself? Have you got it? Um, and of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.